The Ten Commandments to Raids. Number one, thou shalt forgive thine teammates. For example, your teammate messes up and forgets to kill a scion or an oracle. You forgive them because they're human and that's what humans do. Moving on to number two, which pairs with number one. Thou gets three chances to make a mistake. For example, if you make the same mistake three times in a row, then we got a problem. After three, your raid team will decide your fate, which probably won't be a good fate. Moving on to number three, if thou messed up, thou will not blame another. For example, in multiple times I've been raids where people blatantly messed up, and they'll turn to the person next to him be, oh, it was this guy's fault. And it wasn't, and that's just, if that happens, you, you should be kicked out. That's just awful, except when you mess up. It'll make it more fun and it won't stress everyone out. Number four, thou shall not lie about their light level, because that's just wrong. If you're not that light level and they're looking for people at level 300 and you're 290, don't join them or don't say you're 300. That's just wrong and you will get kicked, especially if I'm in your fire team and I noticed that. Number five, thou shall not ask people to join them of a higher light level if they are not that light level. For example, people will be level 270 or light level 270 and they will say, looking for more people, 300 plus only. If you're 270, you cannot request people of 300. You can only re request people of lower or equal to you. I don't know how many times I've seen people, oh, they must be 300 plus, and I join and this dude's level 360, and I'm just, really? Really? Number six. Thou's mic shall be set to an appropriate level. Don't set your mic too high to where you can't hear anyone else or everyone hears only you. And don't set it too low to where nobody can hear you. Both of those are the most frustrating things you can do. Number seven. It's not even going to be in old English or whatever you want to call it. If you're on the mic, don't have 60 people in the room with you. If you're in a fire team and you hear 20 other people, there's something wrong. If you're doing the raid, be alone or with a few people. Don't have a million people in your room screaming and yelling. That's also annoying. People in the raid need to hear each other. Ugh. Number eight, if thou is a kid, he will struggle. This is more like a guideline for kids who want to raid with people in Destiny. If you are good, then be quiet and don't be loud so people don't notice you're a kid. If you're terrible at the game, you're probably going to be kicked for two reasons. One, you're a kid and one, you're terrible at the game. But if you're a kid and good at the game, people will tolerate you. Just don't be loud. That's it. That's all you got to do. Number nine, when there is a disagreement on which way to run the raid, put it to a vote. If four people want to do one way and two people want to do the other way you should go with the four and if those two people are salty well they need to deal with it all right finally number 10 which is probably the most important because I mean what's the point of doing the raid if you don't do number 10 number 10 is thou must have fun because if you're doing the raid and you're absolutely hating it why are you doing it? Do something else. You can get to level 300 light without doing the raid. Or whatever other level you want to get. You don't have to do the raid. Enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, it will stress everyone out in your raid team. They will want to murder you and your family. Okay, well, this has been my rant on the Ten Commandments for Destiny 2 raids. Or Nightfalls, if you want to put them at that. They're basically the same. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked, why not subscribe? See ya!